and as a book we have at one period of time on self-compassion. It sounds really fucking useful, I would love it. We lent it to our mum and said like this is probably a good first step for non-invasive things to focus on. I'm not going to make assumptions about what her behaviour is because I don't fucking know and it's only going to piss me off. So no idea. But the point is that I now don't have it and I could really fucking use it. It'd be so worth it if she's reading through it and it's actually fucking helping, but gotta say, I don't see it. I'm based off her current history of behaviour and I'm just, I'm so done, even this little slight trying to think about it. No. Fucking just focusing on us again. I'm gonna rebuy that book. Because I feel like we could really use it. For now, I wonder if there's anything on self-compassion in here. So it's like the polar opposite to toxic shame. I want barriers to self-compassion as well. I can tell that's safety-based, but it don't make me feel any less aggressive at the thought of. I'd agree with everything you said in the last one as well, last couple of vlogs. I still feel viscerally really fucking aggressive at the idea of it. I don't expect the reaction that's been like branded into us to just stop being the response. I want the sunlight I'll be caught in the tree's shadow. I don't expect it to just stop. I expect it to be like actually quite a lot of work to be able to focus on self-compassion and it not send like mad danger signals to all of the parts of us that learn to protect each other and ourselves in polarizingly opposite ways like Compassion is difficult for me at the best of fucking times. Feels like being gaslit, being manipulated, even literally just trying to type a comment in a compassionate manner. I don't feel like myself, and I don't feel safe unless I'm able to behave extremely abusively and aggressively and in a very hostile way to everyone we engage with. Which, for reasons I went into last night, I'm not doing. So what this leaves me with is that I just don't fucking recognise myself. And I feel like I'm appearing weak, even though I know it's not true. The feeling of it is just there all the fucking time at the minute, and it's bullshit. Kind of shows how much the opposite is true, though. That you can keep doing it against so much uphill struggle. <sighs> I'm hoping over time my conditioned response is just going to change and eventually I'll see it different. I think it's just one of those things that was branded in for a long time through repetition. It's going to take a while to brand the reversive. I think so. But I don't think that's hopeless. I don't think it's going to take like an impossible amount of time or anything. I think it's just gonna be like... You know, like that thing with all changing behavior is it's kind of like you have a groove carved in to a rock surface. And the river runs that way because it's where the groove is worn. And if you wanted to change it, you'd have to like put a dam there and slowly engrave uh, another track until the water could flow down that way to stop going this way. It's like 
feel like we just got to do the same thing in our <laughs> behavior and thoughts over see see my point i was reading and your reaction speed is just like second to none dude thank you i'm glad our camera isn't broken right now <laughs> <sighs> okay. first we've got to like work out yeah what the barriers that are going to affect us are and deal with those because lack of safety is going to be a big one I feel so resistant. I feel positively fucking angry about the idea of being told to be self-compassionate. <laughs> it's not like, because if anybody was trying to be a cunt to me, I'd be like, fuck you. I don't think I deserve mistreatment. Not on a conscious level. Is that what toxic shame is? I don't feel like I deserve that. I don't feel like I don't deserve compassion. I just feel like it's insulting to think that I could fucking need it. <laughs> it feels unnecessary to me. Fine, what the fuck barrier is that? Still safety. <sighs> okay. I hate it. I absolutely fucking hate it. <laughs> 